a realm where towering mountains touched the sky and rivers whispered ancient tales, there reigned a king named Eamon. Unlike many rulers of his time, King Eamon was known not for his riches or power, but for his wisdom and compassion. One day, as King Eamon strolled through the bustling markets of his kingdom, he overheard a conversation that troubled his heart. The people spoke of droughts and famine that threatened their lands, leaving them anxious and fearful for the future. Determined to alleviate their suffering, King Eamon summoned his advisors and requested a solution. After days of deliberation, they presented him with an array of complex strategies involving trade and politics. Yet, it was a simple idea from a young gardener that caught the king's attention. The gardener, named Lara, suggested the creation of a grand garden that would serve as a sanctuary of hope and sustenance for the people. In this garden, diverse crops and medicinal herbs could be grown, providing a reliable source of food and healing during times of scarcity. Impressed by the gardener's insight, King Eamon approved the idea and allocated a portion of the royal grounds for the garden's creation. Alara and her team of dedicated gardeners worked tirelessly, cultivating the earth with love and care. As the seasons turned, the garden flourished, bursting with vibrant colors and life-sustaining plants. When the first harvest came, King Eamon invited the people of his kingdom to witness the abundance that had blossomed from their collective efforts. The garden became a symbol of resilience and unity, inspiring the people to work together and support one another in times of need. But the garden's purpose extended beyond physical sustenance. King Eamon realized that the garden had also become a place of solace and rejuvenation for his people. Among its fragrant blooms and towering trees, people found respite from their worries, a haven where they could find inner peace and connect with nature. The king often walked through the garden himself, engaging in conversations with his subjects and listening to their stories. He gained valuable insights into their lives and concerns, enabling him to govern with even greater wisdom and compassion. As years passed, the garden's legacy grew, and its impact extended far beyond the borders of the kingdom. Travelers from distant lands marveled at its beauty and the harmonious coexistence it symbolized. King Eamon's reign became known as a time of prosperity and understanding, all because of a wise king's decision to embrace a humble gardener's idea. And so, the tale of King Eamon and his secret garden serves as a timeless reminder that true leadership is not just about wielding power, but about harnessing wisdom, compassion, and the willingness to embrace innovative ideas that can transform lives and bring prosperity to all. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel for more motivational stories.